Yes, that's right, we have followed the trend and we are now on Teespring. You can now own the classic dive 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 tee, scuba dude socks, and yep, you guessed it, a hashtag flappy snag hazard sticker. And because it's a new shiny store from the 11th until the 25th of July 2019, we are offering 10% off all of our merch. So head over to our Teespring store, which is pinned in the comments, and at the checkout, type in promo code scuba dude. Offer only applies to Simply Scuba Teespring store and not simplyscuba.com. All orders are handled and completed by Teespring directly. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scooby News. So guess what? It's finally happening. The orcas and the belugas that were being held captive in the infamous whale jail are now slowly being released back into the wild. As of recording, six belugas and two orcas have been released back into the wild. Yeah, so these orcas and belugas were put into trucks, just like Free Willy. Yeah. Kind of. They had to drive. Um, and uh, yeah, ah, um, they were driven 475 miles uh, to the river port of Kabarovsk. Kab Kab yeah, Kabarovsk. It's Kabarovska. Russia. Russia. Um, and then they were loaded into a boat because we all know that belugas and orcas can't swim, they need boats. Um, <laughs> and then they were released. So the team behind the transport of the orcas and the belugas were worried about the journey rightly, because yeah. it's not so easy moving whales out of water. Especially 400 plus miles. Yeah, especially sick whales. Mm -hmm. um, so they had a bunch of people in the trucks with them, just like Free Willy, um, and they were massaging them and lathering them with balm and uh, trying to keep them like chilled and hydrated, just like so Free basically, Willy. They were like, let's just watch Free Willy, that's how they've done it, let's do it. <laughs> Yes. So this sort of release has actually never happened on such a mass scale before. So for everyone involved, they were of course excited uh, that it was happening, but also super duper whooper nervous, mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether it would work. And yeah, as of recording, it seems to have paid off. So the first run has been done. Hopefully they will work around the clock to release all the others in the whale jail soon. Yeah, so not everybody was happy with how the orcas and belugas have been handed in the, uh, or handled in the transfer. Mm -hmm. um, many activist groups have called the transfer extremely unprofessional, go figure, um, dangerous as well, uh, because experts uh, have actually said that the advice that they gave the removal team was basically ignored. But why ask for their their advice if you're just going to ignore it. Um, for instance, the marine life was placed in tight, cramped little containers for their journey. Um, they were driven along terrible roads because I imagine it's the middle of nowhere in Russia, so they're, they're not nicely paved. They um, and they were said to have been in an immobilized state for almost seven days. Not great for any animal. No, definitely not. So yeah, it's very mixed messages from both sides, uh, which again, was always gonna happen. You know, you're never gonna please everyone, unfortunately. I think there are truths about both sides of the story. But what didn't help matters is that the, the team that were in charge of the transfer got a call from President Vladimir Putin, telling them to hurry up. Ooh. So yeah, I'm sure that didn't help with the slow approach of releasing the orcas and belugas back into the ocean that, you know, the experts actually suggested. Yeah, yeah, when, when Putin tells you to, to hurry up and get stuff done. Oh, yes, boss. No, you no, hurry no, up no, and you get, get stuff done, <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, I know we can all sort of agree that something is finally happening, and it is great that actually something is happening and the first batch of marine life is out of the whale jail. Uh, maybe it could have been done a little bit better, but yeah. hey, on the second run, yes, they can improve the quality that hopefully they've learned from before and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, this didn't go quite so well. Let's do something yeah. slightly different for the next batch. Um, and maybe pick a smoother route. I don't know if there is a smoother route. Well, that as well is like, uh, when I was reading it and they were saying about the bumpy road, I'm like, okay, you know what, fair enough. That's gonna cause things, but that might be the most direct way. You can give them a smoother route, but they could be in the trucks for six, seven hundred miles. Can't they just put them in boats and boat them out? Can they? I don't get why they just can't go. <coughs> Off you go. go. Uh, Lord knows. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this story? Are you on the activist side or the transfer team? They're doing their best. 
I don't know. Yeah. Um, or are you like us? Do you believe that there's truth on both sides? Yeah. That yeah, that they're both gonna one's gonna throw shade on them and the others gonna say no, we did everything great. And, yeah, ah, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Who knows? Will it be a happy ending? So anyway, let's have a chat about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like and share it with your buddies as well? And of course, stay up to date with all things scuba. Smash on that little bell icon. Thanks for watching. I'm safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.